Et de toute façon, aujourd'hui, j'ai d'autres projets pour nous. Let's go on a wild ride. My name is Francis McCruffix, but people call me the Irishman. I used to be in the business in Liberty City. I worked for a great guy, Gerald McReary. Oh, during these four years, my life was dangerous. But it's certainly the price you gotta pay for a little piece of freedom. I was quite satisfied, but as usual in this fucking city, shit happens, and I had to move away from trouble. So I came here to Paris, to restart my life, to rebuild the broken puzzle. Just after arriving, I met these French guys, these close internet friends of Brucey Kibitz, the guy who repaired my car in Elsie, and our mutual contact. This is Vincenzo Muxluxoni, aka Skinny Muxlax, the best driver of his neighborhood. He was so involved in his driving license that he married his own inspector. He's got the ability and the talent to bring me anywhere I want. And this is Jean-Michel de Flexerons, also known as Le Fouy Merde. He's got the connections to penetrate the business. He knows everyone in Paris, and everyone knows him. Paris will know my name in no time. I promise that. Hey man. If you want some uh, sweet Parisian stuff, just tell me, you know. I need some material, that's true. But aren't we on the way to get some? I know a girl, she called Nadine, a terrific blonde. She can put your... Shut up, idiot. Look at this, Irishman. This is my car. King Hannibal would have shot on himself. He could see that pure diamond. Oh, fuck me sideways. Okay, where you wanna go, Irishman? We're gonna see Jean-Pierre, he got some weapon for my red air fellow. Do you know where he lives? We usually meet him in some dark and quiet place. Okay, let's go bitches. <laughs> you got some money for fuel, bro? I think we're gonna push the pure daemon to the gas station. This is Jean-Pierre, my man! Hey man, this is my new bro, Mac Trufax. He needs a gun for sure. Tu veux un film? Right on. I need a gun. Tu veux un film, sérieux? Uh. Non, je suis désolé. Je suis vraiment désolé, monsieur. Je... Merci. GTA nous permet de vivre dans la peau d'un truand ou d'accomplir des actes criminels. Mais c'est tout le sous-texte politique et social qui justifie la violence véhiculée par ce jeu. Dès lors, se prendre pour un mafieux ou un chauffard de l'extrême en dehors de l'écran relève, comme vous pouvez le voir, du ridicule le plus évident. <rire> 